if they like decided to put like the best products in specific like on specific days like obviously the first and the last but maybe like on the fifth the tenth etc not sure I'm hoping today's one is pretty good because eight is my lucky number I was born on the eighth of the eighth So my grandfather's birthday, the 8th of the 8th. So it was always a pretty good time. So let's have a look in this first box. I opened it from the bottom again. <laughs> let's get these worms out. Okay, there's a quite a big tube there. What is this? Oh, it's definitely a full size of something. Teaology Tea Infusion Skin Care Matcha Lemon Tea and a Nail Cream Oh, that sounds gorgeous Let me just put this I didn't actually put any hand cream on before this video So I might just pop these rings off and use this Usually I'll just like pop a tiny touch on my hand to test things, but this is a full size and I'm pretty sure I'm going to like it. Matcha tea infusion shea butter and lemon extract. A little seal. Okay, so it's very very nice, not too strong. It is organic matcha tea, natural source of poly somethings, polyphenols. Okay. Apparently it strengthens nails and softens skin, so that can't be bad. Well, it smells pretty nice. Um, I don't know, like it's, it's not my favourite texture, but it's not bad. Okay, I quite like that. We'll definitely, definitely get used. Well, that's not going to be strengthening my nails since I've got breath on. Yeah, I like the fact that it's a nice full size product. It's weird, it looks like it should be that kind of like almost like aluminium y kind of um, tube, you know, the ones that have this lid and creams and stuff, but it's kind of plasticky. So, vegan. Yeah, vegan formula, lots of natural, organic-y words going around, so nice. I like that. 
that's a nice one for the eighth. Let's see what Blissim has in store for us today. We have a little quite light number eight here. I just use the other one in all of my hands. <laughs> it's like the only time I've ever done that. Usually I just pop a little, you know, and now this is going to be like skewed if I try it. <laughs> okay, so, um, Compagnie de Provence Crème Main Hand Cream Algae Velour Made in France. Ultra Hydrating Hand Cream. Enriched with felt alga, seaweed from the Mediterranean, and botanical oils from Provence. Mm. Anti pollution. Okay, it leaves behind a sheer velvety finish. Okay. Oh, there's a little star in vitro test. What? Skin exposed to environmental aggressors in vitro test. Isn't in vitro like when the baby's in the belly? Am I totally misunderstanding that? Okay, let's have a little smell at least. Okay, completely different <laughs> texture. I was not expecting so much there. I'm gonna have to test it properly now. <laughs> I'm just gonna test it up my wrist <laughs> instead of my hands. Okay, it's a lot creamier, a lot, um, more light, a lighter texture. Okay, the scent is not bad. It's nice and fresh. It's not fruity at all. I'm getting kind of like cotton, kind of like almost like Polar products, you know, which actually use algae. Don't they? And a lot of their products, maybe that's what it is. For me, it just smells like really nice, like fresh clothes or something, like cotton. Okay, so that's nice. Um, I don't know the brand, Compagnie de Provence, but looks pretty good. Okay, two hand creams. That's cool. <laughs> Now on to the French beauty calendar. I'm just going to pop into French and I'll be back in English in a few minutes. Donc voilà le numéro 8 de notre calendrier. La parfumerie. Pivionne. Uh, je ne connais pas du tout uh, ce que c'est la pivionne. Je ne suis pas trop fleur hein, et tout ça. Um, mais voilà. Donc uh, la, un parfum qui sent les fleurs, ça ne va pas du tout être mon truc, mais... Je vais voir. Donc c'est un valeur de 18 euros. On va voir ce que c'est déjà. Ça n'a pas l'air d'être un petit spray. Oh, c'est quoi Oh, on a ça quoi C'est trop cool, c'est un, un parfum solide. J'en ai déjà entendu parler, mais j'en ai jamais vu. Parfum naturel, solide. Thermocosmétique naturelle et c'est du Sanoleo. Sanoleo. France. C'est rigolo. <rire> Je vais ouvrir. Si j'arrive avec ses ongles. Voilà. Ok. Donc l'odeur, ça fait un peu fleur, oui. Fleuri. Je veux pas mettre. Parce que si j'aime pas, je veux pas le sentir toute la soirée. Ah, en fait, c'est fleuri, mais c'est aussi un peu sucré. Ça va, ça me ça m'agresse pas le nez. C'est très intéressant. 
J'en ai déjà parlé euh, avec une copine des produits solides récemment. Elle, elle aime bien, son mari aussi. Et euh, moi, j'ai du mal, mais avec ça, j'ai pas, j'aurais pas de mal avec ça parce que ça a son propre petit euh, packaging, si tu veux. C'est pas, c'est pas un zéro euh, déchet, mais c'est, c'est un produit solide. Je sais pas si c'est vraiment, euh, on parle de la même chose. Des trucs euh, zéro déchet, c'est des trucs qui sont, qui viennent dans un un carton, euh, une boîte en carton et c'est un produit solide mais là c'est quand même du plastique avec un produit solide donc je sais pas si ça rentre dans ce cas de, de, de type de produit mais j'aime bien alors qu'est-ce que ça dit un moment d'emploi quotidiennement prélever une petite quantité de concentré euh, de concret non, pardon. Petite quantité de contrainte du bout du doigt. Appliquez-le directement sur les zones de pulsation sanguin, poignet, creux du coude, un coup arrière de l'oreille. Je ne mets jamais derrière mes oreilles parce que euh, chaque fois j'ai un, un, un allergie à quelque chose, ça arrive tout de suite derrière les oreilles. Je pense que c'est en fait, ça n'a rien à voir avec où je le mets. Si je le mets sur, euh, euh, sur mes poignets ou quelque chose sur mes jambes, euh, je, ça commence quand même derrière mes oreilles. Donc, euh, ouais. <rire> J'évite quand même, euh, même si ça n'a peut-être rien à voir. Donc, la pivoine possède de nombreuses qualités qui font d'elle une reine tant dans une reine tant dans le secteur de la parfumerie que dans celui de la cosmétique on l'adore pour sa beauté gracieuse et son odeur délicate et florale effectivement c'est délicate parce que je suis pas fan des choses florales mais ça ne sent pas du tout comme une grand-mère donc c'est bien mmh, j'aime bien et repasser en anglais donc si vous êtes là que pour le français à demain bye so this is really cool it is solid perfume it I don't know what the flower is called I'm really not a flower person it's called pivoine in French maybe just by the picture you might know it um, but it smells actually quite nice I don't like flowery perfumes and this does not smell like a granny it smells nice it smells kind of sweet um, yeah really nice Sanoleo and it's a French um, natural French brand full size obviously everything in the French calendar is made in France organic and full size Okay, let's move on to the fourth beauty calendar. So here we have number eight from Gloria. I still have that song in my head. <laughs> And I still haven't went to check who wrote that song or who sings that song. Okay, so we have what seems like a little product here. Maybe like a pencil shape, like rounded. Is not a pencil of any sort. We have a little tube of Scythe Paris, which I kind of have seen everywhere at the moment. This is a 24 hour soothing moisturizing botanical serum. So I've seen this shape of um, tube with the same design and size written on it but they're all different types of serums like anti-blemish or I don't know like lots of different types and to be honest I haven't really tested a lot of them this is for normal to dry skin sensitive skin apply 
apply morning and or evening to the face and neck before the cream. Instrumentally tested. Hmm. Strange way to say. Yeah, so you put this on before your cream. So it is something that's supposed to be like super moisturizing, but you still need to put moisturizer on after. So I don't know. Serums. There's a lot of them. Very watery one here. Very serum-y. Let's have a smell. Mm. Smells a little chemical-y, but I mean it disappears very quickly. So, I don't know. I'll pop it into my um, little skincare drawer. So our last beauty calendar is the L'Occitane calendar. So number eight is actually kind of a different shape. It's more square. It's still a rectangle, but it looks a little more square than the other ones. Okay, I was thinking it was going to be like a little bar of soap. Oh, it still might be, but just in a little packet. Hold on. So it totally is a little bar of soap. So. It is with shea butter and it is an extra gentle soap and it's milk. Milk soap. So it's soap for your body. Um, I'm just going to open it to have a little look. I know I'm not going to use it. I don't. There's something about soaps. I just don't like them. Um, my mum loves them though, so that's cool. Yeah, it's just like a little square with just the brand name on the front. Oh, I don't like that. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Don't like the smell. It smells like grandmother. Oh, I'm sorry, grandmothers. I love you, but in fact, my mother doesn't smell like that. She's a grandmother, but you know what I mean. It smells like kind of an older generation. I don't even know what it smells like. It's intense and floral and like, I don't know, I don't like it. So that's the first one from the L'Occitane um, calendar that I haven't liked the smell of. So not so bad. One out of eight or seven out of eight <laughs> positive. So not so bad. This will go directly to my mother. <laughs> So let's pop on to the tea calendar. Where do we have number eight? Uh, here we go. Ooh, turmeric. I do like turmeric tea. I got one in my Sip Spy calendar. Um, I want to say like two months ago, or maybe three, and I really liked it. Really, really liked it. So number eight has been lucky so far, except for the. Uh, unfortunate soap. But, hey, that's fine. Puka turmeric gold organic um, golden curcuma Why does it say? Oh, it's three different languages, I think. Or de curcuma. So, turmeric glow. It's um, turmeric gold and turmeric glow because that's um, turmeric gold and that I don't know what language that is. Strange. Okay. Let's have a look under. So a golden blend of the finest turmeric, lemon fruit, and green tea. I think I'm really gonna like this. Yeah, it smells nice. Um, no. Yeah, it is in three languages. We have English, German, and French there. It's weird. None of the other ones are. Un mélange doré de plus fin des curcuma indiennes, de citron et de feuilles entières de thé vert. Okay, so the description is a little more. Um, a mix, a golden mix of the finest um, turmeric, sorry, <laughs> Indian turmeric, um, 
lemon and full tea, um, how would you say, like full green tea leaves, like full leaves, okay, um, definitely you're gonna enjoy that, okay, that's cool, let's move on to the other types of calendars, we have a Harry Potter pop to open, okay, let's hope we get someone cool for number eight, I think I know who it is, okay, who do you guys think it is, I think it's I can see it a little better than you guys. You can tell by the hair. It's Hermione. Is it Hermione? Yes, it's Hermione. I was thrown off by the French for a second. It's Hermione. Look, she has a little arm full of books there. She has a little open robe, some wavy, wavy, unruly hair, a nice little fringe though, and then, yeah, a little handful of books, very, very cute. Of course, we would have the main characters. funny because the more you like get into Harry Potter stuff, the more they all seem like main characters. Like obviously the main main characters are the three children, but I don't know, it starts to kind of all get mixed up and like, it's called Harry Potter, but like Harry's not my favorite <laughs> by a long shot. Okay, so that's cool. Yeah. doesn't look like much, but there is like a little clue to what it is there. So we have this with this on top. overlay a little photo of Harry in the Leaky Cauldron. <laughs> so cute, so cute, so cute. So, so cute. Okay, so here is everything from today. It looks like quite a lot actually, doesn't it? Well, this was not actually from today, but it is her cat, so I'm putting it reunited. Okay, so two hand creams. Very cool. Just a good idea for winter. We have a little serum and a solid perfume. Excited about this. I actually really like it. I can still smell it. It's nice. The granny soap. Sorry, grannies. <laughs> granny soap. Turmeric tea. I think I'm definitely going to enjoy that. By the time you watch this, I will have already drank it this morning, like on the 8th of December. <laughs> then we 
have a little table from the tavern a leaky cauldron and Hermione That was a pretty nice day. I hope that you're enjoying this series and following along. Let me know if you have any of these calendars and you're opening along with me. Or just let me know what calendar you've got, if you have any. Do you have like a little picture one, a chocolate one? Any type. Any, any type. These are all the ones I'm doing for light my channel, but with my family, I will just be opening a chocolate one. So. I hope that you found this relaxing. Maybe a little interesting. <laughs> I hope that you have a lovely 8th of December, and I'll see you tomorrow.